Hi everyone, welcome to Trial of Spices. This is Priya. Ramadan is month to spend time with our loved ones. So I surprised my family with creating a iftar meal. Today we are going to make meat porridge, keema vada and chicken samosas for iftar today. Ingredients for meat porridge are ghee 2 tablespoons, ginger garlic paste 1.5 teaspoon, cinnamon 1, 3 cloves, 2 cardamom, half teaspoon fennel seeds, half teaspoon of shahi jeera, 1 onion, half a tomatoes, few curry leaves, 7 chilies, 4 garlic cloves, handful of mint and coriander, minced mutton 100 grams, soaked kali jeera rice or siraha sambar rice 1 cup with 1 fourth cup of moong dal. You can also use basmati rice if you don't have siraha sambar rice. Thick coconut milk 1 cup. Let's begin by adding ghee, ginger garlic paste and a garam masalas and saute it well for 1 minute. Now let's add in our onions, tomatoes, garlic cloves, green chilies and curry leaves. We'll also add salt and saute it well until it turns pink. Now let's add in our keema and mix it well. You don't need to cook it much longer. You just have to give it a good saute for like 2 minutes. Add mint and coriander to the keema and give it a good mix. And then we will add in our rice and moong dal. Gently crush in rice and moong dal before adding it to the keema. After adding the rice and moong dal, add in 3 cups of water and 1 cup of coconut milk and adjust the salt according to your taste. Today I am using Instapot, but if you are using pressure cooker, you can put it in a low flame and leave it for 4 to 5 whistles in low flame. It's been 20 minutes, I am going to release the pressure in my Instapot. And my meat porridge is completely cooked. So let's get started with the keema vada. For keema vada, we need minced mutton, 100 grams, 2 cups of soaked chana dal, I soaked it for 2 hours, 2 tablespoons of fennel seeds, little bit of cinnamon, 2 cloves, 4 green chilies, 4 dried chilies, also need 1 chopped onion, some curry leaves, 2 green chilies, some mint, and some coriander. In a mixer, let's add in green chilies, cinnamon, cloves, dry chili, ginger, garlic and some fennel seeds. Let's make in a coarse powder of the masalas and then transfer it to a bowl and then we'll add in our chana dal and make them into a coarse powder. Make sure there is no water in the chana dal. To this we will add in some salt, green chilies, 
curry leaves, onions, minced meat and then give them a good mix. Heat oil in a pan and then make vadas as shown. Keep the flame on low while frying the vadas because we added in some minced keema to it. We need to give it some time to cook. Let's begin with the chicken samosas. I took some garlic cloves, green chilies and some ginger and crushed them. I also have one onion, some mint, turmeric powder, coriander powder, garam masala, chili powder, pepper powder, salt, 800 grams of boneless chicken and some samosa wraps. Take a pan, add some oil, add some cumin seeds. Let's add in our crushed garlic mixture and then we'll add in some onions. Saute the onions until it turns pink and then we'll add in our keema chicken. Mix the chicken and add in our masalas and salt. Fry the chicken in low flame until the water evaporates. I am also going to add in some mint to the chicken. My chicken is done now. I am going to blend the chicken to a coarse mix. I am taking 2 spoons of maida and some water to make a paste for samosa.